Hey, this is George here, talking to you about betta fish diseases. Uh, there are a number of them. Uh, I'll just go over a few of the more common uh, betta fish diseases. Um, number one, you know, there's the true fungal infections, okay? Um, there are different types of fungal infections. There are some that uh, really aren't serious or aren't diseases, uh, but true uh, fungal infections, you know, some of the symptoms are like white, cottony, like patches uh, on its body or head, and you'll see them uh, as far as the symptoms being lethargic, not eating, uh, but the conservative way to treat that uh, with a true fungal infection would be to lower the temperature. The optimal temperature for betta fish is 78 to 82 degrees. Um, but if they have a true fungal infection and you see those symptoms I just mentioned, you're going to want to want to lower the temperature below 76 degrees and uh, and treat it with uh, with uh, aqua salt uh, at like one teaspoon. Um, you know, you're going to just want to kind of mess with the salt a little bit on that as far as replacing accurate amounts of salt following water changes. Okay, um, you could also add a fungus uh, eliminator. Um, there are a couple different companies that make stuff like that, but look for fungus eliminator. Uh, that could really help you out. Uh, and you want to continue until all fungus has disappeared, okay? Then another really common um, beta fish disease is tail rot or fin rot, okay? So the betas, uh, the symptoms are like the betas fins, and or tail seem to be getting shorter and shorter, um, you know, black or red along the edge of the betta fish's uh, fin or tail, bloody tips, uh, the behavior uh, may change with the betta fish. Uh, the treatment, conservative again, uh, you know, putting salt at one teaspoon per gallon, uh, increase uh, water changes, um, those type things. You wanna um, also add a stress coat to help repair tissue um, they even make, um, they even make stuff like tetracycline or erythromycin, uh, that can help also. So, um, but again, as far as regrowth, if they have tail rot or fin rot, uh, you can use a stress coat. Okay. Uh, another beta fish disease is advanced fin or tail rot. So that's it when it goes to the next level. Um, the, you know, in that case, the fins and the tail will start rotting away usually starting from the edge, um, but it attacks the body directly. The disease progresses rapidly. Um, you know, it, it can go on for months if treated properly. If not treated, uh, they could die pretty quickly from it. So you want to take that pretty seriously. And then another uh, beta fish disease is fin biting. Uh, that, don't confuse that with fin tail, uh, fin or tail rot. Fin or tail biting is um, when a, bite, a beta bites tongue twister there when a beta bites their own uh, their own tail uh, they're going to be looking ragged um, chunks may be missing um, you know that sort of thing uh, a treatment for that would be uh, you know cure the uh, try to cure the beta fish of their boredom you know try to have more stuff in the in the tank for them and all so anyway that's a real quick rundown uh, you can find more at betafish.us uh, betafish.us Thanks for listening.